All right, welcome to the third video for our retro game final project, uh, where we have our Adventures of Mario. In the last program, or two programs ago, we took our Figs project and turned it into this little adventure game. And last program, we added our coin, along with a sound effect and a scoreboard. In this video, is really just gonna be a lot of copying and pasting. So I'm just gonna demonstrate how to take our one coin and our one platform and turn them into multiple platforms and multiple coins. I'm gonna go through creating three uh, platforms and probably three or four coins. Really, it's just a super repetitive process here. So you can create as many as you'd like. Let's go ahead and grab our code. We're gonna start in global. So we're gonna need some additional variables. Now, the multimedia variables aren't going to change. We're not going to make any additional coin images or platform images. We're just going to use the same coin image and the same platform image as many times as we want. What we do need is we need a new X and Y position for each object. Okay, so let's look at our boxes. We have B1X, B1Y for box one. Let's go ahead and copy that to make B2X, B2Y. And I'm just gonna change my, I'm actually gonna get rid of the comment here. I don't really need that anymore. And same thing for box three. So box three X, box three Y. Again, I'm gonna do three platforms. Um, and uh, we're just gonna kind of guess with positions right now. Uh, I'm gonna leave box two at the same Y position as box one, but I'm gonna move it far over to the right. So I'm gonna go, let's say 500. And then box three, I'm going to put above box two. Um, so I'm going to make the X 500 and the Y like, uh, I don't know, 100 and just guessing here. If you press play, you're not going to be able to test those out just yet. So right now I just have kind of random numbers in here. Uh, and when we actually place the boxes, which if I press play, no image is going to be there. So we actually haven't drawn the boxes yet. But as we go, we'll be able to test these numbers out and change them. All right. Um, I'm going to hold off on the coins. I want to actually make these coins go in relation to wherever the boxes are. All right, so I'm gonna hold off on the coins for now. Let's just do the boxes. Scrolling down to our game code, let's find where we drew our box. Okay, so here's draw box. Here's the first box right here, line 131, image, platform, B1X, B1Y, B width, B height. I'm gonna copy that and paste it two times and just change our ones to twos. So B2X, B2Y, and then our ones to threes, B3X, B3Y. So now I have three images uh, for the platform, one with B1X, B1Y, one with B2X, B2Y, and one with B3X, B3Y. I'm leaving the B width and B height the same for all of them, and then the image the same for all of them. Let's press play. There we go. Now we wanna make sure that we can actually jump on all these boxes. So I know I can jump on box two, Looks like I'm gonna fall through because we haven't done our collision yet, but I can get to the height of box three here. And if I'm on top of box two, it looks like the third box is just a little too high for me to actually get on top of. So let's edit our positions. I wanna move box two over to the right and I wanna lower box three a little bit, okay? So let's scroll up to global and I'm gonna take box two. It's X is currently 500. I'm actually gonna make that, um, I don't know, let's try 600. And box three, we're gonna lower it a little bit, so that's actually gonna be like 150 for Y. So let's try that, okay? So box two is here. And box three, if I'm on top of box one, looks like I should be able to clear it. Obviously, we're falling through. So we need to set up our collisions. So let's go to our code. And let's find our collisions for box, all right? So here is collisions with boxes, all right? So here's, I'm just gonna add a comment that says this is box one. And we're gonna copy and paste these four lines of code, these five lines of code. So from 138 to 141, the entire if statement from if, but P1X, blah, 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 and the close bracket of close if on box. I need all of this for each box. So I'm gonna copy this, paste it, and paste it. Okay, so I've just, I now have two additional ones that are all identical, obviously. For this one here, the second one, we're gonna change everything from a two. We're not gonna change our P1s. P1 refers to Mario, so that stays the same. The only thing I'm changing are my B1s. So B1X becomes B2X, B1X becomes B2X, B1Y becomes B2Y, and B1Y, B2Y. 
And then right here, one more, B1Y becomes B2Y. All right, so that should now work for box two. Let's press play and jump on box two. There we go, not falling through. Last box is box three. So here we go, we have another one. So these, all these B1s become B3s. B3X, B3X, B3Y, B3Y, and B3Y. All right, so we now have three collisions with our boxes here for our three boxes. If I wanted a fourth box, I would have just done this another time. So I don't actually know how that happened there. I just kind of glitched out. Let's see. So I can jump through the bottom. That's a problem for another day. Right now, just trying to get ourselves on top of our boxes. All right. Lastly, let's do the same thing for coins. So uh, we haven't made any variables for our additional coins yet. Let's just add three coins for now. Okay. And I'm actually going to put these coins on top of my boxes, which is why I waited until we finished our box positions. All right. So we're going to make var C2X and I'm going to look at B2. Uh, the X position is 600. I'm going to make, I'm not going to make it exactly the same. Actually, I will. I'm just going to make the X position the same. Let's do C2X equals 600. And var C2Y has to be similar to B2Y, but it has to be a little bit less or else the coin's going to be centered on the box. We want the coin to be above the box. Let's try 250. All right, so let's go 50 pixels above uh, 300, okay, or above the box. All right, and let's do the same thing for C3. So var C3X is going to be the same as B3X, so that's going to be 500. And we're going to go 50 pixels less for our Y. So that's going to be 100. Again, if we press play, we can't actually test that just yet, but we will in a moment. Let's scroll down to our game code. And I think I organized the coins a little bit differently in our coin video. So I, I drew the image and immediately followed it with the if statement. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines of code per coin here. Um, so from 165 to 171. I'm going to add a comment that just says coin one. And let's copy all those lines for coin one. So all the way from my coin one comment to close hit coin, paste, paste. Okay, so let's just change our coin one to coin two. So again, all the C1s now become C2s. So C2x, C2y, in my if statement, C2x, C2, X, C2Y, C2Y, the P1 stay the same. Right here, the negative 1000, move coin off screen, that also has to become a C2. And let's just do C3 while we're here. So C3 for the comment, C3X, C3Y, C3X, 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 and C3Y, and again, C3X, okay? The score remains the same, the play sound remains the same. This should work. Let's press play. All right, we have three coins. One, two, and three. I'm gonna add a fourth coin right here on platform number one. All right, so let's just go ahead and I'm gonna grab this guy one more time. Coin four. I'm going to change my C3s to C4s, C4, 4, C4, C4, and C4. Okay, we actually haven't created C4 yet in global. So let's scroll up to global. And we're just going to drop in var C. For X and let's look at what our B1 is. B1X is 200 and var C for Y. B1Y is 300, so let's make this 250. Okay, press play. There we go. One, two, three, and four. So you can continue to add additional platforms or coins if you'd like. In the next video, we're actually going to add Goombas, or bad guys, 
uh, that Mario has to avoid or else he's gonna lose a life. So he's only gonna have so many lives when the game starts, and if he hits a Goomba, he loses a life. So he's gotta get all the points before time runs out. In our last video, we're actually gonna add the timer uh, as well as like a game over or a you win screen. Keep up the great work. Nice job.